You talked about pedals, so let's talk about your gear. Yeah. What 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 do you use regularly? So on a regular basis, I use um, Tama. Uh, Tama, wonderful family. They, you know, uh, I've got so much love for them. Uh, Zildjian, um, Evans drum heads, uh, perfect match for the, the acoustic side of drums. Mm. Um, but my thing is predominantly hybrid, so I use uh, Roland Electronics um, as well, along with my playing. Um, so I try to bring the best of both worlds. Um, and Vic Firth drumsticks, um, mm -hmm. for me, it's home, yeah. you know, and uh, protection racket cases and tuna fish lug locks, you know, right. keep my tuning yeah. in, in gear. but. Yeah, these the, these these guys are the, the, they're all wonderful to me, and the gear that I use allows me to um, transcend my voice, you know, oh. along with my music. Right. That's what's really important, you know. Yeah. Uh, I have nothing against other companies, but these these are these are the this is the gear that I use. So I use a Tamil Star Classic. Okay. Moment, what yeah. sizes? Um, this is a well, my latest one that I'm using currently is um, custom. So I use um, eight by six, ten by six, twelve by six. Okay. So they're really hyper hyper drive toms. So yeah, it's really fast yeah. and really they're they're all parallel. Mm. So it really gives me a nice balance to move from left to mm. right. I don't have to shift things. Mm -hmm. And the floor toms are really fantastic. They um. So basically, they're fourteen by fourteen, sixteen by sixteen, mm -hmm. square size toms. They really give me a nice bottom end, mm. nice punch, nice body, and it's a Babinga shell. Yeah, um, yeah. And the two kick drums I use are a 22 by 20 mm. and a 20 by 18 uh, mm. bass drum, so oh, wow. yeah, fantastic. Okay, and cymbals, what models do you use? Cymbals, I use a, a variety of things basically, so I use a Zildjian, Zildjian of course, big love to Tina from uh, Zildjian, and yeah. I use, um, so I use a various amount of K's, I use Orientals, uh, I use AE effects. Um, I'm, as a lot of my fans know that they uh, know me for my stack combinations. Yeah. So I use a lot of stacks because um, just really good accent symbols. And I think it's just, as well as it's a current thing, um, it's just a fantastic sound for me. I like uh, emulating white noise, electronical sounds you know, clap sounds from cymbals, why not, you know? Yeah. Uh, and yeah, just experimenting, man. Mm. So, so I literally K's, A's, uh, A custom EFXs, K, uh, you know, K light series. Mm. Um, my favorite hats at the moment, I'm using two ranges. I'm using uh, the uh, K light 15 inch uh, hats and also the 16 inch so not two three and the other ones that I use predominantly in clinics are um, pocket hats the Avidas pocket hats mm -hmm. or as Gerald Hayward always says uh, shout out to J Gerald um, he always calls them the pepperoni hats mm -hmm. it's got little right. pepperonis in them but I saw him only last week so yeah and um, I, I found out from Tina that uh, he was uh, playing along to one of my tracks that I wrote for him. Oh, so, really? Yeah, so uh, it was uh, called Stomp It. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to hearing how that went. And um, mm -hmm. he's, you know, fantastic player. And, oh, he is. And, uh, and really a, a lovely friend and a great support of what I do as well. So, yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, Skins, what, what models do you like? Uh, skins, um, I love Evans, hands down. Uh, Evans, for me, is the most durable head for me, uh, perfect combination for, for Tama. Um, mm. So I use currently, uh, on my Babinga kit, I'm using the new red hydraulic heads. And I think for those, I mean, please check out um, on my Instagram, you know, uh, how they sound. I've got some previews of my video coming up, for, uh, actually for GoPro. Um, mm. So uh, you'll see, uh, and or you'll see the kit in its entirety and also you'll be able to listen to how mm. it sonically sounds yeah. very uh, nice within the within the blend of songs mm. um, it's quite punchy you know my sound is quite punchy but you get a little bit of body from it you know mm. so uh, red hydraulic uh, 
heads for me. Uh, bass drum, I use the um, EMAD. I think that's a go-to for most drummers nowadays. Um, and I'm a metal snare guy, mm. so I have two. So let me let me stand or well, sit corrected with the uh, two snare head combinations that I use. So my main snare is a 13, and a lot of you guys ask about my depth of snare. So it's a 13 by 6.5. Um, I use a Starphonic uh, steel snare um, and I think they're really really great and with the head I always use a hybrid head because it's just it's just like it's almost like a slap in the face yeah. you know yeah. not you know not too harshly but mm -hmm. it's just lots of power effortless and um, I'm quite different in terms of my setup so my floor to where my floor tone would be would be my second snare but it's a 14 by eight okay. uh, snare. Yeah. So it's a bit deeper, but I just literally take the, the snare off and I've almost got that tom feel. Okay. So with that head- but I, Slightly more ringy, right? Yeah, almost yeah. ringy, yeah. yeah. But that's not a metal snare, so yeah. it's a, it's a babinga snare. And I use a um, uh, either a black chrome, um, just a really thick, dense mm. head. Um, mm -hmm. So it's like almost muffled, but it gives you that nice natural low end. Wow. So black chromes usually are the one that I use because they're described as very good low end uh, response heads. Mm -hmm. right. And 360, they're 360. Yeah. So when you spin them around the bearing edge, you've got, it's, it's spinning. Yeah. It's not staying still, it's spinning. So you know that it's perfectly balanced. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, Evans. Snares, they tend to be quite personal. And yeah. very often players who have deals with different makers, they still use different snares. Yeah. Uh, what's it like for you? I'm I'm a snareaholic, and again, uh, <laughs> it is a fetish, isn't it? It is a fetish. Yeah. I think for us drummers, we we have to you know yeah. own up to it, own up to it. <laughs> um, so uh, we 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 tend to try to find uh, you know everyone has a sound in specific, but it's also something that you it is personal. It's a relationship that you you build within for me personally it's my main snare all the time yeah. um i I've, I've been drawn to 13 inch snares for a long time um and tama are now making me something that's 13 inch by nine okay. which <laughs> right you know is is because i like the deep the deeper thing because it just it just gives me that more body in contrast so um i think Snares have always been a, a go-to thing for me. I, I mean, I have an endless amount uh, and I forever go with my Tama snares. And for live, I use, you know, certain types of snares. Like for me, uh, wood snares are for things that are just a different thing. You know, it's not so bitey, it's just more controlled. You know, you, you can play really nice pop songs or ballads and things like that. But with when you, for my sort of music, you know, it's got that progressive fusion, orchestral, you know, I want things that are just like, you know, again, cutting. So I use like metal snares such as, you know, brass or, you know, uh, uh, steel. Um, you know, those sort of things are, are it's, it's, it's a, for, you can never have too many snares. Like, yeah. it's always good to have that as vocabulary for yeah. when you're starting out as a drummer. Yeah. Um, it's, it's an essential tool. Uh, think of it as a as a pen knife. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, it's true. Yeah. So. And that's the kick drum and the snare is Absolutely. the one that people the ones that people have to listen to throughout the entire song. Exactly. And then the next one and the next one and the next one. Exactly. Well, yeah. the, funny enough, there was there was a trick that my so I had a a mentor when I was uh, younger, um, and you know, I didn't have many lessons with him, but he's always said to me. Um, you know, your kick drum and your snare drum is the biggest relationship you will ever have with your drum kit. Even if your if you even if your tom sounded ridiculously awful, if your your kick drum and snare drum sounds great, your toms will sound nice. Yeah. So I just kind of went with that, True. and a lot of people ask about my my tuning on my kit, and yeah. I get good comments about it because I've always focused on the heartbeat, which is kick and snare. Yeah. So you're absolutely right with you know. I probably extend that to the hats as well because absolutely yeah. You know, it's you you may have 
you know, not such a good crash or ride or whatever, but the hats have to be, you know. The, the it's, yeah. it's, it's the three, that, you know, yeah. the three combination kick, yeah. snare, hat, which are the most yeah. fundamental instruments it, out of the drums. Uh, uh, the, it, it's what creates your heartbeat, it's mm, what creates yeah. the sound. And a lot of people try to ask this question, especially on my, uh, in, in my clinics, they ask me, you know, how did you get that sound? And I've always said, kick, snare, hi-hat. Yeah. Find your voice, find what you are balanced with, what your body feels and what transcends. Uh, you know, you could be heavy with your hi-hat, but you've got to make sure your bass is balanced with that and your kick and, uh, and your snare. So just, you know, work around what your body transcends. Kick, snare, hat. Yeah, there you go. True. Yeah. Okay, sticks. Big first. Yeah. What models? Uh, so I use two uh, models currently. Um, so I'm using the Peter Erskine Ride Stick, um, and I'm using the Pete Lockett Drum Jam Sticks. I'm I'm a I like tips to be. This is going to be kind of like when you start talking about sticks, it's always awkward because <laughs> it's like girth, length, thickness, weight. So yeah, apologies, you know, for the if it's a family show. Um, so I'm I'm more uh, <coughs> I like um, sticks with more of a, a, a pretty much like an end, like just a, a very minimal tip um, because I use, I've always played with using my fingers, so mm. my technique is finger controlled. Um, so the Pete Lockett drum jammers I use predominantly for groove based work. Um, it's got a bit more weight. I can you know chop around with it a bit more, and it lets me flow a bit more. Um, a lot of people get surprised because I play with a very um, little rebound, mm -hmm. but I still manage to maintain mm -hmm. speed. But that's purely because I've I was always practicing on dead surfaces, mm -hmm. so I could play on the drums effortlessly with speed, um, with with that sort of running through my head, yeah. you know. Uh, so the drum jammer is that, that sort of thing, the more of the groove kind of thing. The Peter Erskine thing was more for articulation because the ride stick, uh, that Peter Erskine ride stick has really nice articulation, it's a very pointed tip. Um, so I could really get nice nuances from the ride cymbal which was predominant for me. Mm. Um, and also I could shoulder in uh, and it was a good weight. So it's a jazz stick. I play the opposite of jazz, <laughs> yeah. so you know it, it's a very good combination. So I recommend those sticks for anyone, mm. and hope you know hopefully soon, like you guys may be able to see uh, you know a, a unique stick from Casarigas. Right. So, okay. Joe Tester. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>